go. Okay. So I'm waiting for my friend to show up. Should be here. Your baby's in camera. Just so you know. You should just let's see. And let me go live here. Oh, so now I mean, because I was live in, in TikTok, people were coming, but I put in Spanish and nobody to show up spoke Spanish. Okay, so I'm waiting for my friend to show up and join your camera. Okay. So I don't have to do it twice. Well, actually, Jim's do it because when she do when she comes here, she's gonna be. Let me do it. How you doing? This is Marie Cruz. Bring you the gap between the rich and the poor coming for the great state of Texas. And I'm here waiting for my friend. I think she's from Hawaii. Well, I ask her when she comes here to talk about the wholesale formula. Fifteen hundred people have signed up for the webinar, guys. Fifteen hundred people. Yeah. Yeah. The music, I'm going to get copyright strike. Thank you. So I'm ready for her. And then we're going to talk about more about this wholesale formula because the webinar is on February 18th at 12 p.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Central time, and 3 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm waiting for my girlfriend. And then we can talk about um, this. Hey, how you doing, Melanie? So I'm here. I'm talking. I'm uh, making money with Amazon. Um, okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. They just kicked me out. Uh, oh, let me, let me. Sorry, Stella. Oh. <laughs> I'm having technical issues. Can you hear me? I I hear you. Hear you. Oh my God, thank you. I was just, it just kicked me out and and I don't know if you could see me and then I just, I had to like come back and then I saw you, I'm like, yeah, she's she's there. Yes, it's nice to see you. It's my first time with this uh, software, so I was nervous. Oh, that's great. So where, where are you from? Where are you right now? I, I'm i I'm in Hawaii now, but- uh, Well, Hawaii. Oh, oh yeah, but originally I'm from the South Pacific. Oh, South Pacific. Oh, my God. Yeah, I imagine you were, I thought, I said, I think she's in Hawaii, but I wasn't sure. And then, well, that confirmed. So you you said that you had like a background in uh, yoga and what was the other stuff? I, uh, you know, I did FPA on Amazon. Yes, fulfilled by Amazon, yeah. And um, I was selling uh, books, um Kinto, I made some little Kinder books and I, I was all over it, all over mm. Amazon. And of course, didn't make it, <laughs> you know, um, nothing to write home about. Mm. And then I went into shop Shopify. Okay, and, Shopify. Yeah, I know about Shopify. Yeah. <laughs> so I... Um, I designed my own uh, leggings and um, mm. so I still have that. I, I enjoy mm. the doing, but you know, marketing mm. is a tough thing. <laughs> yeah. Did you sell a lot in, in Shopify or was it or was it negligible for you? Negli ne <laughs> negligible. Yeah, at least you saw something because I was in Shopify. I opened two Shopify stores one at a time. Then I closed the first one. The first one was about private label rights, digital marketing products. You know, the, the, the ones that you use as lead magnets. I didn't sell anything. And that's, a, that's digital courses. The second one was that electric scooters. I didn't sell anything. Um, so it was very frustrating. It's basically giving money to Shopify for not selling anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so basically, I you, you are in the hole instead of, you're in the negative, not in the positive. And I'm like, this is, this is wrong. And then and then I think I had two false, you know that sometimes cami people buy something with a false, you know, like somebody's credit card. Right. Mm -hmm. So somebody, I got two orders with the electric scooters and I refunded this person because the person wasn't, you know, if your name is some name somewhere and you live in, in 
North Carolina and you are doing it from Philippines, hello, you know, there's something off. Then you have to pay fees for, on top of the $30 a month, if you have the cheap one, you have to pay fees for even though that was a false thing, you had to pay money. I had to pay money for that. And I'm like, this is not right. So, so yeah, so you, so you understand what is to struggle with a business, wanted, you know, trying this and that, but then you, you feel like, man, it, it just like, I'm just not making it. Am I getting that right? Um, uh, yes, I hear you. That's oh why, you know, with this uh, um, Tita Blue uh, formula, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mouthful for me. Um, when I saw, because I went through, you know, we have access and I went through, I'm yeah, not yeah. quite finished, but already like how they show you products before you mm -hmm. spent money mm -hmm. and just the, the whole process setting up and looking for products and because yeah. I have a, a really hard time talking to people, <laughs> oh. you know, trying, but it has encouraged me because you have to call the brand owner, right? Yes, yes, you have them. to. Yes, you and have. and it helps when you know what it is you are looking for and mm -hmm. how to carry out a conversation as a business, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So definitely. I, I'm, I'm really, I think I have some uh, people who respond to my email <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, they want to know and if I can help. And I said, go listen to the uh, webinar. I, I can try and explain, but the person who will run the webinar will really explain it for you. So, yeah, Jason, Jason is a master in that. I, I, I love, I love how he does the webinar. I'm ADHD, you know, I'm hyper. So it's not easy for me to focus for a long time in something but Jason is the only one of the few people that I can actually be like, mess, he just mesmerizes you. Like when he's talking to you, he just, is, he just explain everything so many different ways that you get it. I don't know if you, you know, you know, if you feel the same no, way, but I the whole set form, yeah, yeah. And I, I like, said, I think also going through the whole set formula and it's amazing. Cause I, 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 like I said, I did drop shipping, you know, drop shipping. When you yeah. take a product from AliExpress in China, I, I, I did that you too. sell it. And that was a, I saw, okay, so I sold $14,000 in eBay, but the shipping that you had to pay, the refunds that I had to deal because some, some, they, they took forever. Cause you know, here I'm, we are, I, I mean, us Americans don't like waiting because Amazon has spoiled us that you get something in less than a week and now it's faster. So there's a lot of competition. So I love this thing. And so, oh. What was your favorite thing of the whole formula? Because I've been going through it and there's, there's, you know, there's some things that just caught my, but I think the main thing that you mentioned, uh, knowing how to find a product and right. how to talk to them. In fact, there are two key things to actually start the right way, less time, less money and less effort. Don't you think? Yeah. And, and just finding the product. I mean, I've been doing this for, for years and, I was totally lost in, in how do I find one? You know, you do your research and all this, but this helium 10 and just honing in on how many sellers are selling and how you, you yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's a no brainer. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And if you don't know how to, cause I imagine it happened to you that it's like trying to find a needle on a haystack because you don't know what is going to sell. You, I'm basically, you're basically just exactly. testing trial and error and it's too much. It just too, it was overwhelming. You know what? There was, there was one time that I was like, I am so tired of this drop shipping thing. Yes. I made money. I can say that I made money, but still it was more grief than anything to me. It was stressful. It's stressful. I mean, don't you think? <laughs> and you know, living in Hawaii, I I had um, um, ordered this 
uh, yoga towel, yoga towels, where, you know, those towels, uh, and yeah. they come from China to me here. Then I packed them. Then I sent them to Amazon. Oh my goodness. What? I, yeah. You didn't send it directly to them because I was, I was not sending it to a warehouse because then I will pay the warehouse on top of that. I was sending it directly from China to the people, but then sometimes it didn't get there or sometimes it took a month or two and the customers yeah. were angry and all kinds of stuff. That's the thing, you know, with Amazon, the delivery times. So that's why I had to send them to me and I send it to Amazon. So it how was, long it took you from China to Hawaii? How long it took you to receive um, this product? Some, uh, sometimes a month. Still? Aren't you closer? Yeah. Aren't you no. closer than here? Can you believe it? They send it to the what? mainland. We call it America. They send oh it there. my God. So, Seriously. So I've been through the hoop in many ways with this Amazon business, right? And, and with this now, um, the whole sale formula, it, it's so, what's the word? When opposite of stress. <laughs> so you, you feel relieved and, and, right. and like in your zone, in your zone, you're in the zone. Not like, right. oh my God, I have so much weight on me that the pressure might just sink me down so bad. Cause yeah. I was, I, I it's, you know, horrible, horrible feeling. I know. So let's talk a little bit about different, um, different, um, ways of selling in Amazon so that people understand why is it that we're, you know, why do this and all that. So one is some people do drop shipping, which is basically take a product from AliExpress, uh, put it in eBay or Amazon. Let's say the product is $5 in AliExpress or for a, Let's see leggings, since you, you were saying leggings. Let's say there's $5 in a legging in AliExpress in China. You put in eBay or Amazon for $20. And when somebody orders, you send it to them without the receipt. So they don't know that you pay $5 and not pay, while well, they pay 20 something dollars. That's I, one. I, I, I paid a lot more than that. So. Well, you know, I know. I'm the, just giving you an ex example, kind of like to uh, let them okay. understand what is drop shipping. Then two. I did real, real arbitrage. When you go to the the thrift store or Goodwill and you buy stuff there, cheap books. stuff like vintage stuff, books or vintage stuff like Cornet, you know, like the old Pyrex stuff that they don't sell anymore, and then you will put them to sell. But a lot of the stuff that I bought in the Goodwill didn't sell, so I have junk collecting in my in my ro a room with a bunch of stuff. That I haven't sold still, so that's that's that. And then we got. Yes. I know. If I show you my room, you're gonna be yeah, my, the 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 host room, the guest room. You're like, oh my god. And then third is private label, which is a lot. Is when most of the courses are teaching private label rights, which is basically taking a product, usually from China again. And right. creating a brand, doing market research, creating a brand around that you don't even know if it's gonna sell. So it's gonna take you a lot of time. I did to that. research. <laughs> you did that yeah. too. Oh my god! How much money you spend in that? In that endeavor? Oh. It's still painful to talk about it because oh you know god, I, I was doing everything. I, I I mean I thought I have to to create a brand. Well, Alexa, stop. Mm -hmm. The work uh, to create one. If, after it's all done, who's gonna buy it? <laughs> you know, yeah, so now, now, so you did all this work, you did this, you, you, you put all this time, you put all this effort to create a brand out of nothing, basically, but then it didn't sell. So you basically lost your time, your money, and your effort. So, so this is another private label rights, the most difficult. Most of the courses are teaching that, and you don't wanna do that. Believe me, guys, you don't wanna do that. So <laughs> she did it. She didn't like it and she lost money. I didn't do private. I did private label digital marketing, which is selling digital courses that are already done, but they're subpar. So I didn't sell any. So there's so many different kinds of, you know, there's so many different technicalities about Amazon that if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose money. So the wholesale yeah. 
that we're focusing is reverse outsourcing, like like they said, reverse outsourcing is picking a product that is already selling, projecting what that product is going to sell in profit, and then con connecting with manufacturers of specific brands to make a deal with them and say, hey, I want to resell your product. I want to do a wholesale and you buy a bulk and you send it to the Amazon warehouse and they take care of the rest. That's way different because you're doing it for the United States. It's faster. It's automated. It's streamlined. It's already, you can go faster instead of having yeah. to wait. How long it took you to do your private label? Was it six months to do all the process before you start selling? How long was that? Maybe three months. Three because months. I, so three yeah. months. Oh my God. Yeah, because I already, I had, already uh, sourced the product and then I had to build my a, a, a website to kind of get people in to know that I even exist <laughs> so <laughs> anyway it, it's it, it, you know I learn a lot but and before uh, you before you had your first sale okay so three months to create the brand when was you, the first how long it took you to get your first sale? Uh, um, hmm. I don't know. I think within the first month, because I had already gotten people into my website, which took a lot mm. of times too. But um, it really, wow. it, I ended up having to remove my stuff because it was, I, I, um, you were being charged for storage, right? Mm and it was sitting there in storage and i finally decided is there a way i can just tell amazon do whatever you want with the stuff that's there don't charge uh -huh. me anymore you know that's how it was okay i had to finally remove it how much but we're talking this, about in, in units that you had in amazon how much we talk about 100 units or whatever you were selling how many how many units you told uh, amazon do whatever you I, want when I order, usually order, yeah, 100 units. So what do they do with it? Did I tell you? Um, no, I had to ship it back, but that's what I was thinking. You know, I, I almost oh my it was God. like, um, I think I, I eventually just asked them to mail it back to me. You, you pay for the, for the mail, of course. And then oh I kind God. of sold it around here. <laughs> so it's um, so so you you pay for you pay for shipping it there, you pay for shipping it back back. Mm -hmm. So anywhere you anytime you breathe, you're paying something. Yep. Basically. Oh my God. So yeah, guys, this yeah, wholesale it's, thing is it's different. A tough, <laughs> I I'm, I'm not even sure how how people make money doing this um, FBA and uh, private label if, if they are making money or I did not. Maybe maybe they make money, but it cuts into a lot of their profits. Yeah, it cuts and maybe a lot. after years of slowly building, but anyway, so you have to be with, in for the long haul then. You you agree that you have to be there for the long haul. If you're not doing the right type of business model, which is wholesale, if you're doing drop shipping, if you're doing private label, if you're doing real arbitrage, it's going to take you longer to get drop. to where you want to get. And wow. Maybe not. Maybe you, you won't get there. But oh with my God. this uh, uh, wholesale uh, formula, I mean, the potential... Because the hard work is trying to find profitable products. Yes, that's right. That's if you and and for me, even if I don't do a wholesale formula, if someone will tell me I can tell you the the, the profitable products, I'd say okay. How much? <laughs> you tell me, and I will go and do it. That's wow. right there is a lot of um, knowledge that if you don't have, 
Yeah, and the, yeah, and I think that's a. I think the num the main thing that we're talking about here is that if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna be struggling. And it's like I told Jody this morning because I went live with Jody this morning. I said, my motto in life is work smart, not hard. And if you do everything else that we told you that we did, and you wanna struggle and be stressed out, that's up to you. But if you want to start the online business in a way that you will go from zero to 5K like this guy, like Ogden, he did, he may, by the six month, he was already making $5,000. I don't know if you saw the videos of all the stuff they put on, uh, you know, in Slack, but that's what he was talking about. He said, zero to six months to do $5,000. That's really good. You know, yeah, so. And you can only accelerate. Build up more. Because, it's like, yeah, it's like a building a, a house of cars, yeah. Yeah, and, and once you know the process, then it takes much, much shorter to, to keep moving. And then you put a second second product, third product, mm -hmm. 10 product, and you keep putting more products. Jody was talking about, one, starting this business for the short term and long term, two, to sell the business and start another one. So you can actually, let's say, Make up, make uh, start with wholesale, start on nothing, and then once you making enough money and have a clientele, sell it to somebody else for double, triple, quadruple. One of the guys sold his business for four hundred thousand. Another guy sold uh, his wholesale business for seventy million dollars. I don't know if he, Dylan Frost was. I, I, I was Dylan. saw that. I saw that video. Dylan, seventy amazing. million dollars, got set. Oh my God! Look, for I, I take the four hundred thousand. How much? I mean, of course, if I can make the 70 million, I will take that too. But what I'm saying is that if you can actually make up a, a business that is going to be successful and you already are in the big, at the, at close to the finish line from the beginning, because you already have the most difficult part, like you said, which is picking the product instead of in, starting in the back like we did and yeah. we were stuck, you know, it, it will be better. So we're inviting you to this webinar on February 18th, okay? And he's going to answer all the questions. I don't know how many people ask me questions. I say, no, I'm not talking. I'm not the one that's doing the webinar. It's Jason Flatley. Go to go to this this uh, uh, you know to the link. Register your name, your email. Get the emails. Go in and and you know attend. And he will answer all your questions because if you want to start, and then, and then let's talk about the main thing is that the pandemic has made everybody buy what more on Amazon. So it's more. And so they whoever, are making more. Oh. Exactly. They're making more. You said it. Because before the pandemic, people that were selling in Amazon wholesale were making a, a, a lot of money. But now the opportunity is more, way more. So yeah. I, I it's a, like you said, it's a no brainer. I think you said that. It's a no brainer. Yeah. But people should just, they should just go give yourself a chance. Go listen. A lot of people are struggling, so definitely, definitely. What can it's like? You know, you can lead a horse with the water, but you, can, you cannot force. So here you are. You are by the water. Go, and if you don't do it, don't look at me tomorrow. <laughs> exactly, because we're telling you what we went through, so that you don't go through what we went through. Hello. Yeah. But some people, some people just don't want to learn from other people. They just want to see, well, I'm going to do it better than them. And then they end up failing anyway. But if you're the horse, and the horse is right there in front of the water. Why don't you just put your little, just put one paw in the water and just <laughs> test it. Just, just check it out because you're not going to lose anything by putting one of your, one of your, one of your feet in the water. You know what I mean? But... <laughs> <laughs> I like to be, I like to be graphic. I don't know what you, <laughs> I like to be graphic. Yeah. So let's, the main thing is if you, you, it doesn't matter what you do in life. If you are doing a job or you're doing a business, you have to spend time, money, and effort. If you don't want to spend time, uh, if you don't want to spend money, you're going to be spending what? More time and more effort. For what? What do you think? To, to do whatever you want. So if you if you're doing a career, and you have you gotta go to college, how much is gonna college? How, how much is a college 
uh, you know, like I said, I just graduated in December from my master's. How much is a college education is going to cost you? It's going to be way more money than, 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 than spending in this course. Way more. Yeah, and you will see results much, much faster. Exactly. With, results. With no, um, um, you know, with no uh, student debts up to here. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm just telling people, I try to be real and tell people, hey, you got time, you got, and then can we extend time? Can we extend our time in life? Because it's only 24 hours and you can't extend time unless you automate a process and you're making money as you sleep. But you can't do that with a job. You cannot, if you're, if you're sleeping, you're not making money because you're not exchanging your time for, don't you think? Yeah. Unless you're virtually, I don't know, virtually doing, I don't know. But anyway, there's always a cost to how we do things. If you do it by trial and error, it's going to cost you a lot of money and a lot of effort in a lot of time. So, so I went through that. So, and what was the know, worst thing of so, going through that? It's like every every day you are hoping <laughs> that. Today will be the day that you'll see some return. Mm. And you go through the whole process. And, and the other thing with this program, they, they're taking you by the hand. They're, they're yeah. giving you a roadmap. Go from A to B to C to So makes it so much easier. I wish I had known about this, you know, years ago. You too? I don't, yeah, I don't know how, how I missed it because I've been, you know, searching online. I've been on mm -hmm. Amazon, as I said. So I don't know. So you were hoping, I will say, so can we say then that the way we did things was like a lottery. You might win it, but most of the time you don't. Right. You, and I think that's sad you, because you're hoping, you're hoping, but then your hope, it does just, just stays there. Yeah, and you, you put in the effort. Every day you are working on it, and then end of the month, you are looking at your budget. It's the, the coming in is here, the going out is up here. So, but you keep hoping. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's like someone should have stood with a whip and say, enough already, you should stop, you know. Yeah, so I don't but I don't know if you're like me, but I'm stubborn, I don't quit. I don't, you see what I mean? I don't, I just can't quit. I'm, I'm a type of personality, but I think you just said something really key in what we went through is that there was more money going out than coming in. And that's yeah. a problem in a business. You're bleeding, you're basically bleeding money everywhere, everywhere. And that's, that's, that's a very costly error that your family is going to be actually dealing with the side effects of that because you're not, you know, you don't, you don't get hurt by your own if you have a family, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you can actually do things the right way, just do them the right way, and anyway, most people don't still don't know about wholesale. Most people don't know about no, it. I, I it's, think weird, no. it's just weird, don't you think? It is. It's like a, a, a secret society. What do you think? <laughs> a secret society. <laughs> I like that. I've never heard of it. So oh. yeah, so let's let let's say what's the lot say you wanna be part of the of the of the of the secret society of the society. wholesale formula? <laughs> Yeah. The secret wholesale formula, go to attend this webinar because if, you, oh, and then let's talk about the bonuses because we don't even, I cannot talk exactly oh. what bonuses he's given because it's secret, Yeah. but there's, there's nothing anywhere that you can actually get this course where you're going to have so much advantage of advantage because Jason is going to offer the people that attend because you have to attend, people that attend are going to get so many bonuses to, to actually start almost close to the finish line instead of just taking the course by itself, which you will still be successful, but it will take you a little longer. But with all these bonuses, you have the chance to just hit the ground running. Wouldn't you take that if, if you, you know, 
If I could, if you could reverse time, would you reverse time and be like, oh, I'm not doing any of the stuff that I did? I, I think I would, don't you think? Because mm. it was too much. Personally, it was, it was, it was a lot. Put, put a lot of stress in our family. And my husband is like, I know you're trying, Marty, but it's just <laughs> a lot. Yeah, yeah, and my husband never said quit. But he's like, man, this is just always some kind of issue. With and I'm like, well, it's not my fault, baby. I, I, it's, it's out of your control. But it, with wholesale, you got more control the process, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. It's, I mean, just knowing that the steps you are taking is taking you in the right direction. You know, it's not like, okay, maybe today I will do this. Tomorrow, mm. maybe this. But the process here, you know exactly you, you will need to do this to reach that. It's more Before you started your business, I have a organized. question, Carlo. Before you, before you started your business, do you have any background in sales or you just started your business and that's how you learned? I, I didn't really have any background in sales, but um, I was always looking for opportunities to do, you know, to create my own business. Mm -hmm. And um, my background, I was kind of into art. I was um, mm. doing uh, graphics and stuff. And I, so I would start selling my own work, mm. but it, it's like, no, if, Perhaps if there was someone who know how to market it, it would be better. But, the, mm -hmm. you know, it, which bring me to the, the um, um, wholesale um, formula. Mm -hmm. You don't need to really, once you do the right product, everything in there, selling, they sell themselves. Amazon will sell it for you. Because you were putting in the correct product that people want. It's not like you are hoping that what you put in there will sell. So that's a big thing of my mind. Selling. Mari, are you there? Just, I guess you just simplify your life. Because yeah. instead of doing things by, you know, trial and error is just the best way to just go and attend this and, and, and all we asking you is to attend this webinar i mean you don't you don't you know waste anything if you don't if you if you attend you don't lose anything but you might gain a lot of stuff don't you think you might gain a lot because yeah. um do yourself oh my a favor <laughs> yeah. listen to her listen to your <laughs> elderly i'm telling you i totally <laughs> But yeah, so um, I am just glad that this, this I'm going to be doing this too because I've been going to the course and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. I just wish I would have found, and, I'm, and the weird thing is I'm one of these people on YouTube that are always seeking for opportunities. Why is it that we didn't find this before? I feel like I've been missing this opportunity, but if it weren't because we are promoting this, we maybe would have not known about this. Yeah. So you see, that was a that was a blessing. That was a blessing in disguise that we, you know, that we found about it. But a lot of people don't know about it, and that's what we're trying here to tell you. So, so let me go because let's let's go because if not, it's gonna kick us out again. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know if you seeking. if you wanna if you yeah if you wanna maybe do it. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm. Like I said, I like doing more than let's, if you want to do it again and want to schedule another, another day tomorrow or the next day, whatever to do another on something else, we can choose to talk about some, you know, the, the TW with something else or whatever. So you let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank well, you for too. coming. Thank you. Thank I you, really Mark. appreciate you coming. You're, you're an amazing person. And I you hope too. you guys, yeah. I, thank you so I much. Listen, I listened to your video and I said, wow. Yes, yeah, I, I hope that you guys, I mean, all the people that are going to see this video, see that those of us that are trying, really try hard, and then to struggle to not get the results that you want is very, very frustrating. And it's not because we were, it was not for the lack of trying. 
He's yeah. not for the luck of trying because you you heard everything that she said that she did, everything that I that I said that I did. I had the background of sales. You did not have a background of sales, and still, because we didn't have a back um, background of marketing, we could have sold more than what we did. Don't you think? Yep. So Amazon is going to cut all that because Amazon is not everywhere. It's a global store. You can do Amazon anywhere. You can do this course anywhere. And everybody already knows about Amazon. You get instant credibility. When you do Shopify, you don't get that. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows who's Mari. Nobody knows who's a lot. And that makes it more difficult because you're basically an unknown. You're like a ghost. You're like, who's this person? <laughs> Is this person legit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Is she legit? But Amazon gives you that that leverage that you and, cannot and get protection. anywhere else. And protection, like you said, because they protect their sellers and their customers. Both of the people are, both of the parties and manufacturers are protected. Plus, they have the shipping, the fast shipping, and all this other stuff that everybody wants because everybody's always in a hurry to get things. <laughs> Especially now with the, pand with the pandemic, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we then, are ordering more. Exactly, we're ordering more. So who's making the money? The sellers are making a, a lot of money. And with our and, and with our, our course, you never run out of product because you have a deal with a manufacturer. So you got basically un, unaccounted amount of product. Because I will run out of product, you too? I will run out of product and there was out of stock. So I had to try to order some other product that was close to that product. And then I ended up having to refund money. So I lost money. I imagine the same happened to you. So, um, but yeah, so just uh, thank you for coming so much. And I am going to say goodbye to you guys. And this is Mari Cruz, Bridge the Gap Between the Rich and the Poor Coming from the Great State of Texas. And Salot from Hawaii. See you guys Bye. later. God bless. Take care. Thank you so much, Salot. So stay out of trouble, guys. Give yourself a chance and go and check this, re uh, register to the thing. And let me put the link here. No, that's not the way. So that you can actually um, register for that webinar of the year. And it's once in, once in a lifetime opportunity. So I see you guys later. Take care.